I just want to clarify for all of us, all right? So, I get Wei Young Coach's hands, right? I bring him down to his elbow, and when I capture this wrist, I'm capturing it on the same side that I'm riding, all right? Sometimes, I know a lot of us hit a cross wrist, right? This is a cross wrist, but on this one, I want to go on the near side. So not across the body, all right? I want this hand to be capturing the wrist, all right? So my near hand and the same side that I'm on is the wrist I have, all right? So we get weight on coach's hands with our thigh pry. We pull him to an elbow. We capture the wrist and we drive him down, all right? Now we need to do something with this wrist so we can start using it. So, stand this way for me. All right, so you guys are gonna see right now, all my weight is on coach, all right? Whatever side I'm on, I'm gonna put my opposite knee. So I'm on the right, I'm putting my left knee in his hip, all right? This stops him from fighting back into me. He can't start scooching up into me because my knee is blocking. My other knee is gonna go to the inside of his elbow. And now I'm gonna spread my knees, all right, to create space here. So one knee is in his hip, the other knee is on his elbow, all right? From here, my hand is gonna come from the opposite side of his body to the bottom of his other hand here, all right? I'm gonna use my knee still, and now, you guys can see, I have his hand outside. Once his hand is out from underneath, all right, we're gonna pick it up, walk it on his back, all right, and we're gonna straddle him right here. From here, we have both hands on this wrist, securing it to his back. I'm gonna put my chest on his forearm. Now that my chest is on his forearm, I'm free to use both my hands. Coach tries to take his arm off his back. It's stuck with my body, all right? My chest is keeping his arm on his back. All right, both my hands are free and I can work. Now, whatever side I have his arm, I'm gonna slide in my bar. So I keep my chest tight to his back. I get my bar arm, I put my fist in the center of his back. If I tried to just run the bar like this, guys, the ref would stop it, all right? Because this would be a chicken wing. I like to eat chicken wings, but I can't run them, all right? So we got to move his arm to the side of his body so we can run our bar. He'll want to put it there anyhow, so. Yep. As, as the defensive guy, you're going to want it there, too. It's more comfortable, and it's legal, all right? So now on my opposite side, I'm gonna capture his wrist, suck it into his chest, and when I run my bar, I put my chest behind his elbow. All right, see my chest behind his elbow? I'm not over it. Look, where's his elbow? I can't see his elbow. I wanna look at his elbow, okay? So when I start running the bar, my chest is behind his elbow, and I'm gonna run his ear to his shoulder. I'm just gonna look at it the whole time. Run his shoulder to his ear. Shoulder to his ear. I'm still looking at it. I'm not letting him turn. I'm actually blocking him from turning. All right, run his ear to his shoulder, and when I feel like I can push his shoulder blade down, I settle in for my pin. All right, Stuck. just like that. So from the beginning, double thigh pry, get weight on coach's hand. Come a shallow shoulder, pull him to his elbow. Near side wrist, not cross wrist, right? Near side wrist, drive over him. Remember what I do with my knees? I put one knee in his hip, one knee on his arm, and I spread my knees. My other hand comes and grabs his wrist, 
Once I pull, once I have it out from underneath his body, I walk it on his back. I'm keeping it here, all right? I don't want him to take it back. I took the arm out, now it's my arm. We put our chest on his arm, then our hands are free. Okay? Sink in my bar, fist on the back, push it to the side, other side, underneath, grab his wrist, suck it in. I come out to the side to start running my bar, and what do I need to make sure I'm looking at? Well, we're going to run the shoulder to his ear, but what, what does my chest need to be behind? The elbow, right? And now we run his shoulder to his ear, and we're staring at it. We're staring at it. I wonder what his face looks like. <laughs> he wants Probably to get hurts. over. <laughs> all right. Once I see this, all right, and I put enough, put enough pressure on him, I fall in. shoulder was like almost coming out my other ear was jammed so much. Okay? So when you guys get that bar, right, we got to keep our chest behind the elbow and we're going to make sure his elbow's bent up. Then we run the shoulder to his ear. We got any questions? All right, on three. One, two, three. <laughs>